What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavink here, and today we are going to dive into the film room and take a look at new Packers safety. Xavier McKinney uh, signed a four-year, $67 million deal with Green Bay in the first day of the tampering period, $23 million guaranteed. So Xavier McKinney, his time with the Giants, had 3,154 snaps played in four seasons, had a 6.9% missed tackle rate, which is very, very good, kept it low uh, each season he played in New York. Had 11 pass breakups and nine interceptions in his career there with the Giants and, and three pass breakups and three interceptions in 2023. A career 72.1 passer rating when targeted. That number was inflated a little bit with the 116 passer rated when targeted in 2022, but dropped it back down to a 52.1 in 2023. And there is some versatility with alignment, and we're going to kind of get to that in the film room as well. Had 1,723 snaps at free safety, 725 snaps in the box, and 442 in the slot. So let's dive into the film room now and take a look at this versatile playmaker the Packers have in Xavier McKinney. All right, guys, so we're going to the film room, taking a look at Xavier McKinney. Now, obviously, paying that type of money to a safety, feel like you're going to get the majority of his reps on the back end as the post safety, as the true free safety in what many believe to be a, a majority Middle field closed, right? Single high look uh, for this new look Packers defense. And yeah, I understand people maybe have concerns with the athleticism based on an RAS card, but you can see the range. That ability to close, impressive closing speed there, and he takes advantage of a lot of opportunities uh, to make plays, create turnovers, ball production, all of that. Similar thing, right? From, from deep, from split safety look, closing with some speed, immediate tackle. If you still have questions about the speed because of a 40 time, I implore you to take a look at this one. Tyreek Hill is breaking into space. Looks like six points. Nah, McKinney's going to run him down and, and pretty much save a touchdown here. That's impressive game speed. Okay. The other thing with McKinney, I, I think that's really, really underrated. And, and we're going to see some of the interceptions, but it's really just about coverage instincts and, and how well he does in certain alignments, where he's deployed, and just a feel for, for good coverage. Here we're in the back end, right? We're single high, but great job picking up this deep crosser, right? Basically eliminates it as an option. Here against the Bills, they got really creative, the Giants did. And they, they got McKinney out there on digs in an initial look. Just either bump him or, or you know, give some type of look that, that they want the Bills to believe they're in. As soon as Diggs gets vertical... He's opening up right to the play side of this. Where's Allen going when he's scrambling here? Basically, okay, which crosser do I need to pick up? Pick up, you know, the short one or the intermediate or take away both basically here and force Allen to basically have nothing on that play. It, it's similar down here. Another corner alignment against Diggs. Fain like you're going to carry, you know, with him vertically. Quickly snap off. This is obviously great film study you know, by the coaching staff and the defense as a whole, but flies right back down to basically take away the flat here to the tight end. And it's again, forcing Allen into, you know, a, a situation where he's just going to fling the ball up and, and hope. Once again, we're going to drop into a look post snap. That's, you know, he, McKinney's getting into a robber role. He, he's kind of poaching the middle of the field, which you've kind of seen already. What he does really well here is corners communicating with him. You know, sinks well in coverage, basically taking this deep over route away to the tight end. And once again, Allen really had nowhere to throw it until, you know, a late opening on a scramble drill. So you see that ability in coverage. Here in a split safety look, he's got this half of the field. Howell's letting this thing go to McLaurin. Doesn't really fall for, you know, kind of almost felt like a corner and up. And really, he gets himself in great position here with McLaurin. You know, contact him, squeeze to the sideline. And basically create a non-existent throwing window. All right, this is a really good one. Play action, right? He's in the box basically at this point. Turn, run, find the crosser. And he finds it immediately and takes it away. And a near interception for one of his teammates. We got a similar thing here against the Eagles, right? Last game of the season. We're in the box. It's play action. What do we do? We turn. And we, we find the crosser and, and hopefully poach it uh, and maybe turn it into a turnover here. Once again, great job. Nowhere to go. 
once again have to get into scramble mode and, and just throw something up. Because McKinney is that good in the middle of field with coverage. Here, yeah, he, he was given a lot of assignments against tight ends. Here against Dallas, nice job in coverage there with the PBU. Was pretty much had to handle George Kittle for the majority of this game against the Niners. Nice job here, maintain some inside leverage, transition, close, and, and make a play for a pass breakup. Now we get into the ball production a little bit more after that play here. Another one that's play action at the goal line. Dolphins have a lot of things going on, you know, to kind of confuse this defense. Looks like McKinney is, is working to the flat to pick up the tight end. Tua clearly believes he's got Waddle back there. Really nice reaction play by McKinney to prevent a touchdown there. Similar situation. We're working downhill from depth. Devin A. Chan, how about, how about pop the ball out? Good punch, good timing. Forcing turnovers. Against the Patriots, we're in the single high look again. What's he really good at? Football intelligence? Yeah, poaching the crossers off of play action. Recognizes it immediately. Says, yeah, quarterback's not throwing this go route. I'm poaching the crosser. Easy interception. Great closing speed to the intermediate part of the field and converts. Again, you see this a lot with the Giants. And what they've done is, is rotated to a different coverage up post-snap. And he's the single high safety now. Jalen Hurts has taken the shot down the field, something the Eagles did a lot. McKinney's already in position, right? He is he has flipped the hips. We're working to this ball. And not only is it good range and closing speed, how about impressive leaping ability and elevation skills at the catch point? Okay, Packers fans are going to love this one, right? What does this remind you of? Well, we'll get there. But recognizing that we're running a tunnel screen, intercepted what does it remind you of Micah Hyde against the Cowboys for those who remember now not only can we get stuff you know from a free safety look right with all the range and coverage instincts we can do some work down here in the box as well right near the line of scrimmage make some tackles is he the most enforcing type as a tackler no but but he can be very very reliable in these situations here against the Bills right in the box against James Cook nice reliable tackle there Right, a run blitz, take advantage of the delay and the patience from, from James Cook there and make the play. Very, very easy. How about tackling in space? Right, got to weave through some traffic here, right? This is designed to get this to the tight end of the flat, right? We got crossers going one direction. Try to get the defenders caught in traffic. McKinney is not fooled. Takes a great path, makes a nice tackle in space. Once again, filling against the run, right? Limit the gain immediately. Impressive tackler. How about the pursuit and hustle ability? Absolutely. Chase down of Jalen Waddle. Really nice pursuit there from the opposite side of the field. And again against Dallas. Right, we're in the box again. Other side of the field. And basically saves a touchdown here uh, by tackling the running back. Shoestring tackle near the five-yard line. Love the instincts. Love the recognition skills. And also very assignment-oriented. Knows he has... Basically, you know, the screen here and this, this throw to the flat. He's down there in a hurry. No gain at all to be made on that play. Now, I think, you know, when it comes to deployment, I think Green Bay can get creative because here he's in the box, right? We're rotating into a single high look and he's going to kind of poach on the intermediate part of the field. We've kind of talked about his ability with the crossers, but you can see this ability as well. I think there's going to be some opportunities for, for this type of play uh, in the future. Just missed the opportunity there. Just a tick late. But but I think we can see that kind of thing happening uh, in this new look Green Bay defense with McKinney here. He's aligned basically on the defensive line. And this is a post-snap rotation because he has that range and that play speed that we can take away a, a post route, right? And even from aligning on the defensive line, this is something I could see Green Bay doing for sure. And McKinney with that range and that play speed can handle that. So obviously it's not perfect, right? There, there are things to work on, right? We already mentioned he's not the mo biggest enforcer as a tackler. So sometimes there are just times where he is trying to absorb that tackle and, and you see some misses for sure here against Kittle. 
you know, falls victim to the stiff arm there, a little bit of a struggle. Kittle was a tough assignment, and, and you could tell. The physicality was tough, you know, on him. Got a little grabby there at the top of the route, right? And, and we get it. The play speed's good. Got to be careful with angles, right? This Dolphins game was a nice lesson in that. Like, Dev, Devon Achan is, is fast, right? So, not always the best angles for him uh, defending the run. But still, overall, this it's it's pretty few and far between. Here, I, I don't know what the call is. Basically, a pick play. Uh, but maybe, you know, recognition skills of like, all right, we got to play in and out coverage here to handle a potential pick play. And they both just kind of get lost there. Not all in McKinney, but, you know, just something to think about as well. Like, bigger back, can we handle that? It's a little bit tougher on him, right? Again, he is not the box safety enforcer type. Here's just a little bit of a lapse in coverage as well on play action, something to just monitor, right? It's a single play, but something to pay attention to, right? We, we've kind of seen that a little bit with the coverage skills from the box. But overall, you see everything you want to see from Xavier McKinney in terms of safety play, right? The ball production, pass breakups, interceptions, right? He's forcing fumbles. He can drop into the box and make tackles and help against the run, but that range, that that base, the coverage, you know, ability in terms of recognition, football intelligence, right, and and the closing speed, all of that wrapped in a bow, basically telling you like, yeah, almost 17 million per season, it seems to be worth it based on what he put on film last year for the Giants. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Xavier McKinney. If you did, throw a like down there, subscribe if you're new. Plenty more film room content on the way very, very soon. I will catch you guys in the next video. Farewell.